biggest challenge with AI images is consistency. Consistency in characters, styles, perspectives. In this video, I want to break down my process of how I create a consistent style with Midjourney. First, we're going to start by having a chat with ChatGPT. It's more or less a style analysis. I want to analyze styles, different art styles and design styles. So I would like to create the high contrast with the strong shadows and depth of field stuff. Yeah. And it gives me kind of an answer. It gives me like strong comp composition, high contrast lighting, limited color palette, depth of field, textures, perspective. So I already have like a few elements that I can use. And I usually start by selecting a subject dark under city with a black market pal alley something like this and i usually use the first weight of like six and then i see how many i have so this is the first modifier group that i caught on like the subject i usually have like this as the subject yeah then i just like check what is this strong composition so there are di diagonal lines and strong focal points i think these are two elements that are important or that are distinct that i can use as part of the prompt and i usually go for like two weight of two for this i continue creating modifier groups with individual elements i received from chat gpt it's about recognizing which elements are important for your style what are you actually looking for Group them up in a way that makes sense. For example, strong shadows, deep shadows, bright highlights go together. A muted color palette, dark, muted colors is one group, somber, intense mood is another. Weight values is another important thing to consider. I start with the highest value for the subject and the further I go, the lower the value I put. I go from the wide information to specific. Subject should be the strongest, because that is what we want to see in our image. Second is the overall style we're going for. Afterwards, I put individual elements and adjust the values as I see how many modifier groups I have. When I have many groups, I raise the values of each weight to have more fine control over it. Equally important as saying what we want is also saying what we don't want. So I add negative modifier groups to my prompt as well. Once I have chosen my elements and put them into modifier groups, it becomes a creative process of finding what looks good for you. For me, I see that I want the image to be black and white and higher contrast. So I adjust the modifier groups and values. In the end, I have a prompt template I can reuse to keep the style of my images the same while changing the subject. It's great for creating a cohesive world and story. If you found this video useful, give it a like. I'll be making more videos on how I use AI in my creative process. You can start by watching the videos here. Keep creating and don't forget to have fun.